Okay, so this is how <coughs> to achieve the look that Adele had at the 2012 Grammys. Um, if you can see, it's just a shimmery kind of white cream lid with um, thick kind of flipped out, very retro vintage um, eyeliner um, and a corally red lip. I mean, I don't have the exact lipstick or colour that she used, but I've kind of taken my own take on it. And um, so, as you can see, this is the finished look. Okay, so first, I'm just going to take any kind of eyeshadow brush, really. It really doesn't matter. People say that, you know, you need this specific brush. It really doesn't matter. Um, this is a... This is from e.l.f., um, the website Ives Lips and Face, most things are really cheap. Um, and this is just an eye brush, I think it was £1.50, £2. Um, but to do try to get one with the rounded tip. Okay, so I'm just going to take a light shimmery colour. Um, I'm actually using a colour called Virgin, which is this one. Um, and that's by Urban Decay. But if you can't get that, then any shimmery white light eyeshadow will be fine so I'm going to put that all over the lid right up to the brow bone okay and then I'm going to take a colour called Pearl shade 1 Pearl by a range called Makeup Academy it's a pound in Superdrug and um, most of their stuff is really really good so um if you use that and what I'm going to do just to make the the white in here a bit more poppy and vibrant is to wet it basically I'm going to wet the brush so um so I've wet the brush and I'm just going to sweep this lighter brighter shade over the actual lid if you can see here which is what I've got there okay so that's pretty much it for the um, eyeshadow except all I did was I took a blending brush an eyeshadow blending brush and I took um, a matte um, sort of a neutral sort of taupey colour um, I used a mix of Naked and Buck which is in this Naked palette from Urban Decay but again if you can't find that then any matte neutral colour okay so I just took a slight blend of that and just put it in the crease and blended it up not to the brow bone leave a space in between the brow bone and the blending but there you go so that's just to create slight definition I mean you can see here that there's just slight definition okay and then for the eyeliner I'm using Fast Stroke by Collection 2000 it's just um, I think it was 2 or something um, just their plain black one and what we're going to do is start smaller and narrower here and then go gradually out as we get and it's, it makes kind of a winged um, liner effect okay so we start small in there okay so I flicked up and then what I'm going to do is basically colour it in <laughs> so I'm going to take this along to create a thick instead of a feline flick we're creating a more retro winged look okay See if you can see. So it's not quite a kind of Amy Winehouse flick, but it 
see it does slightly elongate out of the edge of the eye to create a winged look okay so then I took my angled shadow brush and just a little bit of black eyeshadow and just to go over this which will seal in the colour and make it last longer and just intensify the colour a little bit and I also like to just blend into the lash line like this which just gives a deeper colour okay so then I took an eyeliner and just run this along the lower lash line doing really light strokes we're not looking for a really dark defined look just slight definition don't put it on the inside rim because that's going to make the eyes look smaller and that's for a more smoky kind of um, dark sultry look we're looking for more of a retro um, vintage look okay so then we're just going to take the angled liner brush again and go over what we've just done with the eyeliner and that's literally just so you don't get any harsh lines it's just to to blend it out okay so So that's that blended like that okay so then I'm going to take my mascara just to do my bottom lashes I'm using Too Faced Lash Light um, this is a really good mascara it has a mirror in the in the tube and in the top of the lid it has built in LED lights um, so you can get every single little lash but it really doesn't matter what mascara you prefer um, but I'm just going to go along like this when you're doing your bottom lashes, it's best to hold the one like this because then it means it's easier to get all the individual lashes. You can go along like this and you can go down like this. It's harder to do it this way and to get every every individual lash, the tiny ones in the corner, okay? So go along like this. And that's the mascara. Um we are gonna put false lashes on. Um, because if you've seen Adele's look at the um, Grammy, she did have quite um, full false lashes, and she does love her false lashes. So, but I do feel that putting a slight coat of mascara on the top just means that the false lashes and your natural lashes find it easier to blend together. Okay, so we're actually nearly done. Um, then all we have to do is the lashes. So. Take your strip lashes and your lash glue and put a thin coat of the glue over the line of the lash and then leave it for a few seconds to go tacky. It's really difficult to try and put false eyelashes on when the glue is still really wet um, it, because it won't stick to the eye immediately so you're kind of moving it around and placing it until it will stick and then you've got time to press it down into all the corners okay so just leave it for a few seconds and then we're going to pop it in the middle of the lash line and then because it's stuck in the middle we can then manipulate the ends and the edges to make them all stick down of course try and get the lashes as close to your natural lash line as possible because they will look false if there's a gap. And with this look, I think it's quite safe to assume that you're wearing false lashes. <laughs> but you don't want them to look um, out of place and false and kind of just stuck on your eye. You want them to look like a nice part of your look, okay? So the look that Adele's gone for is more flicked out of the edges, hence the flicked out eyeliner as well. So what I've done is just place these slightly towards the edge of the eye so you get a, a flicked out look at the edge. And if you're worried that your lashes aren't sticking together properly, what you can do is just take your tweezers and go along the lash line and pinch the lashes together with your natural lashes just to make sure they're all stuck together properly. And it's a good idea to do that when the glue is still slightly tacky. So you don't get 
the false lashes and then your lashes sticking out of the bottom. Okay, so just and that's those lashes on. So then we're just going to put a quick coat of mascara on top of those. Now you can put mascara on top of false lashes. Um, it's quite simple just to clean your lashes with a baby wipe and just hold the baby wipe and rub the lashes along like that with the hairline. Um, and then that can clean them, that means you can reuse them. I mean, I wouldn't advise reusing them forever. Um, it probably is a good idea to buy some more. But just while, I'm just adding a bit more white in here just to equal them up. You want your eyes to be equal, so... And then I'm just going to dot some white, the same white eyeshadow that's on the lid, in the inside, which just makes the eyes look wider, brighter, makes you look more awake. Okay? Now, I'm just going to add a bit more mascara. What I'm trying to do is just even out both eyes. Obviously, I did this one earlier, so I'm just evening out both eyes to make sure they're both the same. And then for my lips, I don't have, or I don't know, the same, the exact colour that Adele would have used on her eyes. But I've used my interpretation, which is a colour by MAC called Barcelona Red. Um, it's kind of a vibrant coral. So what I've done is just put a coat of this on my lips. And then I've taken this, it's called Pout, Pout Paint by Sleek. Um, and this colour is called Pin Up. Um, they're very, very vibrant, so you just need the tiniest, tiniest dot to make a lot of colour. They do lots and lots and lots of different colours in this. Um, they do blue, pink. Um, this range is really, really good if you're if you're quite out there with your makeup or you're looking for kind of a Nicki Minaj, Jessie J kind of look. So this this makeup range, Sleek. Um, I think they only sell it at Superdrug, but it is perfect for this. So I've just put a tiny drop of that on a disposable lip brush and I'm just going to go over that just to make it slightly more red because the lip colour Adele had was a corally red so I've got a coral and I'm adding a red don't be afraid to blend your makeup to mix makeup to make it the colour that you want because sometimes you have a colour in mind that you you know you want but you can't find it anywhere to make it yourself um, okay, so that's the lips, and then what I'm going to do for the cheeks is take um, a powder eyeshadow called Buff, which is a MAC shadow. It came in the bottom of this set, but I think you can buy it individually as well. Um, but it's basically just kind of a natural. Um, neutral shade nothing too heavy if you look at this look i think adele or her makeup artist was searching for a look that was focused on the lips and the kind of fluttery vintage looking eyes and wasn't too worried about defining the cheeks or anything like that so this is literally just for a pop of color so i'm going to do is apply it under here and just to the apples of the cheeks with a blush brush And the same to the other side. Okay, then also what I'm going to do is just take the same blush and the same brush and under here just do a really light dust under the bottom of my chin. And then I'm going to take the same blush and just down the sides of my nose just do a slight 
lines on the side of my nose. This gives a really kind of narrow chiseled effect to the nose and just makes it look more feminine and dainty, I suppose. So um basically this is the completed look. And this is the eyes and the lips. Um obviously I have dark hair so and at the time Adele had blonde hair so the look will look different on me but this is how to achieve the basic look. This looks also very good because there's no colours that don't suit all eye colours. Um, so I've got blue eyes, so here's Adele, but if you've got brown, green, hazel, it will suit your eyes as well because there's no kind of bright gold or, or anything like that, okay? So that's the look. Any questions then please ask?